Gustave Flaubert penned the well-known book, Madame Bovary. The book debuted in 1857. It relates the narrative of Emma Bovary, a lady. Emma is wed to rural doctor Charles Bovary. Her ideal existence is one of more luxury and excitement. Her reality, meantime, is much different. She resides in a little and interesting community. Her hubby is bland but polite. Emma dreams of prosperity, romance, and love. Love relationships allow her to try to leave her life behind. But these affairs simply cause her greater disappointment. Emma spends carelessly in order to relax. She lavishly furnishes her house and purchases designer clothing. Her outlay results in significant debt. Emma starts to get hopeless and desperate. She ends her life as well. Flaubert writes in vivid detail. Emma's ideas and emotions are vividly shown by him. The author investigates society's shortcomings as well. Emma's discontent captures the little roles women in the 19th century were assigned. Her marriage and socioeconomic level cage her. Emma pursues romantic ideas, which Flaubert questions. He illustrates how these dreams could be dangerous. Emma falls from her search of happiness. Emma is the reverse of Charles Bovary. His modest life makes him happy. Though he does not comprehend Emma, Charles loves her very strongly. Though he tries, he cannot bring her happiness. His incapacity to please Emma exposes their differences. Emma stands for the need for more, Charles is a symbol of the everyday. Their marriage is headed for disaster right away. Emma's narrative is told by Flaubert via irony. He notes Emma's dreams against her realities. The book goes beyond Emma's life as well. It also looks at her surround society. Flaubert captures the village's small-mindedness of its people. Emma is severely judged and they gossip. They are, yet, equally caught in their own dull life. The author attacks their lack of empathy and hypocrisy. When initially published, Madame Bovary was divisive. Flaubert underwent trial for violating public morality. Given its treatment of feminine desire and adultery, the book was deemed disturbing. Flaubert was cleared, though, and the book went to become a classic. One of the best pieces of literature nowadays is clearly this one. The exact and deliberate writing style of Flaubert established a fresh benchmark for realism. He worked years honing every line. Emma Bovary is a multifarious character. She irritates as well as is compassionate. Readers will be able to grasp her yearning for a better life. Her decisions at the same time cause her own suffering. Emma is a tragic person because of her defects. She looks for happiness in the wrong areas thus she cannot be happy. Her narrative serves as a warning about the perils of unreasonable expectations. Many other authors have drawn on Flaubert's Emma characterization. Film, theater, and opera adaptations of Madame Bovary abound. The book's global themes make it still relevant today. People still fight with discontent and the need for more. Emma's narrative urges us to consider carefully our wishes. All things considered, Madame Bovary is a stirring and potent book. Readers will relate to Gustave Flaubert's ageless narrative. The life of Emma Bovary combines hopes with hopelessness. Her quest of a perfect life brings catastrophe. The book also critiques society and its restrictions on women. The plot comes to life in Flaubert's realistic and exacting writing. Celebrated as a literary masterpiece yet, Madame Bovary is.